All right, now that we have multiplied and divided and added and subtracted rationals, we are going to do something called complex fractions, which really just takes all of that, puts it all together into one problem. A complex fraction is nothing more than a fraction within a fraction. A complex fraction occurs when you have a fraction in the numerator or the denominator or both parts of a fraction. Like this first example, I have one third over three over x. And so I've got a fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator. This is really nothing more than me saying I want to do one third divided by three over x. So your first step when approaching one of these problems is to take it apart, rewrite it as a division problem. Then remember what we learned about multiplying and dividing. Well, first thing we factor. Well, good, nothing here has to be factored. So second step, we rewrite it as multiplication. So we keep, change, flip, and then we just multiply. Well, one times x makes x, and three times three makes nine. That is that complex fraction simplified, done. So let's look at another one. Now this one is going to combine not only complex fractions, but you notice that my fractions, if within my fraction, have addition and, and subtraction signs. And so now I'm going to end up having to probably do some factoring. So now I'm going to have x plus 1 over x squared minus 1 divided by x over x minus 1. Well, now we have to factor if we can. So x plus 1, nope, that can't be factored x squared minus 1, yes, that's a difference of two squares, so it becomes x plus 1 and x minus 1. This one, x can't be factored, neither can x minus 1, so I can jump straight to change to multiply and flip. Then it's just like multiplying. We're going to grab our red pen here. We're going to start crossing off things that with numerators and denominators. x plus 1 and an x plus 1 x minus 1 and an x minus 1. Well, now the only things left is an x in this denominator down here. When everything in one part of the fractions cancels, so all of my numerators have canceled, what that means is I have a 1 left on top, and then down here in the denominator, all that was left was an x. This would be true, too, if everything in the denominator had canceled, then that would have turned into a 1. And so if everything cancels, you're left with a 1. So this becomes 1 over x. So let's try a couple more. This next one, and it doesn't really look like a complex fraction because there's no fractions going on here, but there really are. Remember when we put something to the negative power, it's the same as writing it as 1 over that thing. So this is really 1 over x plus 1 over y all over 1 over x, whoops, minus 1 over y. So again, I'm going to rewrite 1 over x plus 1 over y divided by 1 over x minus 1 over y. Then I have to go through this business. I've got a plus an addition problem to the left of the division sign and I've got a subtraction problem to the right of the division sign. So now I'm going to have to add and subtract before I do my keep change flip and factor and multiply. So this needs a common denominator and if I look at the denominators that I have, I have an x and a y which means I need an x and a y in both of them. So I'm going to multiply this one by y and this one by x. So I end up with y over xy plus x over xy. Then I have my divided by. Now this one, I have an x and a y again, so I'm going to have to have xy in both. So I'm going to multiply this one by y and this one by x. And so then I have y over xy minus x. That should be an x there over xy. I'm going to put these in parentheses because I need to treat them separately. I'm going to have to add and subtract first. So I'm going to do this addition first. Well, y plus x just becomes y plus x, and then my denominator is xy divided by. Now y minus x is y minus x. My denominator is still xy. So now I'm going to keep change flip. I'm going to keep my denominator and my numerator, I said that backwards, but I'm going to keep this fraction the same. Change to multiplication, flip xy over y minus x. I'm going to change my colors so you can see me cross stuff off. And so y plus x doesn't have anything to cancel with, but this xy will cancel that xy. So what I am left with is y plus x over y minus x. That's it. So if you've got addition and subtraction along with 
the complex fraction. Take care of the addition subtraction first. Find your common denominators. Do all of that. Then keep change flips. Let's do one last one. First of all, we're going to rewrite this. X, and I'm going to write this as X over 1 because that's what that means. And then this is X over 3. So I have X plus 1. I apologize. I have X over 1 plus X plus 3 divided by, and then again I'm going to do X over 1 minus X over 6. So I need common denominators. This one's not so hard. I have a 1 and a 3, which means they both need to have a 3. So I'm going to multiply this one by 3. So I get 3X over 3 plus X over 3 divided by, now my denominator needs to be a 6. So I have 6X over 6 minus X over 6, and we're going to just add and subtract. So this one, 3X plus X gives me 4X over 3. 6X minus X makes 5X over 6. So now we go keep change flip. Keep this one the same. Change, flip this one over. And let's see if we can simplify anything. I'm pretty sure that we can. Um, 4X and 5X, well, oh, we're going to leave those alone for now. We'll see if we can simplify anything in a second. The, well, I can probably cancel out the X's. They both have an X, so I can get rid of the X's. So I can, they both cancel out an X. And then this 6 over 3, well, they will reduce because 6 divided by 3 is just the same thing as 2. And so what I end up with is 4 times 2 here. And in this denominator, I have just a 5. And so this simplifies just to 8 over 5. You want to get all fancy, make that a mixed number, go ahead, turn it into a decimal, have at it, but there's nothing wrong with eight-fifths. You can leave it. You're done. So that's complex fractions. It just takes all of the adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, puts it together all in one problem. Everything we've done jams it together. So remember that when you have this, rewrite it as a division problem, take care of all addition and subtraction, then keep change flip, cancel and multiply.